Is it audible? Oh, those who are present, just uh, in the chat box, please write it as uh, present. Okay, uh, yesterday we discussed a couple of things. We understood SEO in that. We understood organic and paid search, then on the page, off the page, which was very much clear. Then we understood key phrases, uh, then uh, links we understood. We discussed about backlinks, how it happens in the uh, digital platform. Then today we are going to understand something called as user insights. We'll be talking about that. Okay. Insights, when I say the, when I say the uh, layman's language, we call uh, information what we say. That's what we call it as insights, the capacity to gain an accurate and deep understanding of someone or something. When you go for the deep understanding in the corporate, when you join, you'll be getting very, very familiarized with this term insights, okay? The project insights, then the brand insights, if you're into branding, those things, someone will brief you, about, your manager will be telling you about this. So that is something we will be discussing later when you join about these terms. But now, let's start this insights, uh, user insights, how how the person who comes up with a blog or something, or the SEO, what, what insights he has to give to the customers. Okay, so if you are joining now, just a moment. Okay, fine. Uh, the first is nail down your audience search intent. Okay, nail down your audience search intent when I say, okay, uh, if you if you uh, put your company name uh, something very flashy or uh, very lengthy, okay, and if your page takes time to open, okay, then the customer will just move out from your page and he'll go to the other page search in uh, that other website, okay. So please make sure that whenever you uh, put any information or as about your uh, company or as any keyword, Make it very simple for your audience to just uh, log, just uh, get into your website. Okay, uh, let me let me tell you what I written. It is there is no secret that keyword data can tell you a lot about your audience in the hunt. Okay, in the hunt for, but it's the intent behind those searches terms called really matters. Intent is what will enable you to create more valuable, best answers content for your audience. Okay, now say for example when you are looking at the Google search console. If you see some of your post is ranking really well, this specific query, but has low time on the page. When I say low time on the page, if the customer is logging to Google search engine, and if it is taking more time to open the page, whatever you're done, okay, then the customer might switch. So that's what we are trying to say. Nail down your audience search intent, okay? Make it very, very informative so that the customer will stick on to your page, okay? Many times I have seen YouTube channels wherein people just in the beginning, they tell the story, story, stories. Uh, say, for example, if 20 minutes is the video, first 10 minutes is something, the stupidity, what they speak, which is totally not required. And the content will come at this 15th minute. So that should not happen. So nail down your audience search intent. Okay? The first thing is you got to nail down your audience search intent. Uh, okay. The first part. Then if, if you are coming up with any blog students, please understand you need to keep your customer busy and interesting the content should be interesting so nail down your audience for the search intent one then second is take advantage of older high performance content now say for example if you uploaded any videos which is old enough and there are many likes or hits for this okay keep on updating some of the other things in that so that the customer comes or visits again and again to your page be it a blog be it a video on the youtube or whatever you are doing okay the older the content, there will be high performance. Okay, so that's what we say. You got to take the advantage of the older content. So say, for example, if there are 10k views for your content, then just refresh it or else ask someone to log into it and just check for it what is happening. So because the older the content, you would be having the foundation really, really nice for it. So take advantage of the older content. That's a high performance content. What we say. Okay, then third is low volume doesn't mean low value. Okay, when I say low volume doesn't mean low value. Okay, if if uh, the 
people are coming less to your page okay or is to your uh, website that doesn't mean you have a low value for it okay maybe only few people are getting into it so a common practice for the marketer is to search volume data to determine target keywords and new concept opportunities so if there is low volume you need to uh, say for example the thumbnails what you put okay the front page what you put many times in the youtube you can you might have seen the videos the photo is something else the picture but the inside the video is something else it happens okay so that doesn't matter to students so low volume doesn't mean low value okay uh, few people are coming to your page uh, that doesn't mean you have low value in the market okay because search volume indicates the number of people searching for any given topic or the question okay now say for example if you are looking for niche market okay the person doesn't know to write it as niche market or as you might have spoken about marketing in between you might have spoken about niche marketing that that's a fault from your end when you created a blog okay you are not highlighted that you are just written marketing but you didn't mention niche market okay now say for example if you are if you are discussed a case about cred the cred credit card system what we say uh, done by shaha okay who was earlier uh, started precharge now if i am uploading his video on the youtube channel i am just talking about precharge okay instead of cred then people are not interested into free charge now at present they are interested into cred so my title is business model of cred if i write that then the volume would be more even the value will also be more in the market so whatever you write you got to be very specific about it so here i have written it very clearly while it's tempting to go after high volume searches it's not always that the best choice and with the rise of the voice search such uh, search queries are getting longer and longer okay because it is taking more time for the people to understand is your blog talking about this or not just now i said your your title is marketing but in that title you are talking about niche market then the customer is really worried i am searching for niche market but this title is marketing so he might not come to the page or as he might not even see your blog so that's a problem so low volume okay then review inbound links to find top performers okay now this is quite interesting linking is an important component to any seo strategy it helps to find the search engine that you are author authoritative and credible source of information the better the site you have the linking to your content the better the chance the rank in the uh, will go high now when we say the students okay uh review inbound links inbound links is somewhere you got to uh, create the link wherein it's uh, really matching the topic okay here if i see in the second paragraph i have written clearly Uh, which topic others find in looking the number of sources linking to your content you can see which topic others find the most helpful giving your framework you should try to replicate the future content now say for example if you are looking for seo okay or as digital marketing unit 1 okay even my video varun jeevan's video will also pop up then other faculty who have uploaded videos from the other faculty also pop up for example i different from what other okay that is what we got to check but here when i'm talking about review inbound links if i write dsml you will also have other faculty videos so that is where we call as inbound links to find the performance top performance now my views might be less but other person views might be really really good and they might have explained really nice when compared to me it doesn't matter so that is where we call as inbound links when I, if i'm talking in dsml Uh, will not be the search engine. It will be only the DSM top which will come. Then it will come about the SEO. Then blah 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 things will come. So this is something. Give you the inbound links to find the top performers. So I need to check who is the top performer. Give me the channel. What best he has. That I need to check and I need to apply myself into the. Track the behavior of your. Okay. Behavior of the search when I say. When someone finds you to search, what do what do they need to do next? Okay, do they bounce? Do they complete? Do they invite the next or the other things? Things equal to for better understanding. Whenever any people now say, for example, you review, okay, or you have written a blog in Google or whatever it is. Many people came to your site, or as say, for example, you took some. Let me give a present example. What happened with these people? you did uh, google search google scholar you went to many various uh, literature reviews you took it okay how many citations happened for it really really matters so the person who has written the article or something he need to keep a track of it 
okay 10000 people viewed my video fine but how many people comment on all this feed really matters okay so how many were uh, positive comments and how many were ne negative comments all those things you need to check students so that's where we see it as track the behavior of your search traffic okay the behavior of the search traffic if they have commented negative start working on it so that you next time you get a positive review you okay, know say for example uh, few few uh, chain wherein they deliver the products they get one rating two rating okay the apps you take or as the videos you take or the blog you take on the video on the youtube or as you take the content writing on the google okay someone creates a content writing on the google on the blogs or as take an example of a google scholar wherein you are writing article and publishing it okay the paper sort of publishing how much citation you got really really matters to us okay how many people actually used your research paper that really matters so track your behavior of the search traffic that you need to check so this is very 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 important students so conversion rate optimization what we say cro comes into play over here okay then uncover the new content opportunities with the site search within the site search okay when i say when you are making any video or any blogs if you are doing if someone isn't finding what they need to need in your site they probably try searching for it this could mean that you have right content opportunity resting the under right on your nose many times if you see uh, today try doing this students whenever you see any video on youtube okay or as if you go to any google uh, sir google scholar and check for the papers okay your title really really matters one uh, let's be very honest in this your title really matters and if you have, say for example if you have spoken about marketing and in the next video you want to speak about selling okay then what you need to do is you got to say that please refer my previous video and give the link on the top or else in the description that really helps so we call it as uncover the new content opportunities within the site search means you need to say that for my first video you need to refer my video which i have previously put either on the top pop up or else in the description please mention that you can check my video my previous video then you can check this video so that is where you are covering up everything so uncover the new content okay so this is all about uh, user insight students any questions in this please let me know quite a simple one okay uh, i thought youtube example would be really nice so that you can relate it uh, very easily okay uh, take example of google scholar also even that for study if you have actually checked some papers on google scholar for your project work that you can easily relate it how many of you did the uh made use of google scholar for the literature review anyone no you made use of google yes scholar? sir i did sir yeah 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 so you might have seen many citations for the people uh, for the papers right there are n number of yes, citation sir. Those, i have seen yeah yeah uh, you might have seen the uh, brand if you have taken branding as your topic then you might have seen n number of citations for the papers yeah yes sir so that's the best thing yeah that's the best thing what you see because their content is really nice the data is good and the topic what is selected is easy to search that's the best thing what you can relate to each other yeah? so that is where we call it as insight user insights and those who are very much familiar with the youtube as an example then you can easily relate it how you search in the youtube how you uh, get this low volume high volume many time you see people saying purana wala link pe uh, description pe link diya gaya hai Blah blah blah. They tell, okay, check my first video, second video. Those, those things happen. Why they do this? Because of the insights. What is happening in the digital platform? Okay. Yeah. Any questions in that? Just go through students. This will move to the next part. Benefits and challenges of SEO. Uh, this is quite simple. Uh, never touch upon benefits and challenges. Uh, just for your information. Uh, if you understand the concept, then benefits and challenges. Uh, write it in your own words, students. Uh, just i'll run through one it is free then localized traffic will be there mobile friendly expert status customer friendly feel those things then straight i'll come to this content marketing if you just to take a minute or so any questions in that just go through this will start this we'll start with content marketing one of the important question for the exam uh, mostly <coughs> so In the, the previous module, we discussed about this a bit. Okay, uh, here we'll be understanding in detail now. Okay, and again I say in IMC you have a complete part of it wherein you'll be studying it. Okay, content marketing in IMC subject. Uh, Ravi sir has started it. Uh, 
is he is in unit 2 or something 2 or 3 okay fine okay shall we start with content marketing students yes sir okay done content marketing uh, three marks question in your paper what is content marketing content marketing is all about using the content to attract and retain visitors and eventually turn them into customers okay the most people who use who use it know it's effective okay so content plays a very very important role what is that data you put really really matters now let's understand this meaning content marketing is a form of marketing focused on creating publishing and distribution content distributing content to the target audience online okay so content marketing when i say what is my data what is the content i put to my audience one is you need to create it then you need to publish it simply if you create and keep it in your mobile it's of no use you need to create it you need to publish it and distribution content to the targeted audience online now say for example if i am making a video about digital marketing okay for my students okay first i need to create it one second i need to publish it in the online platform okay either it might be google scholar or else take an example of youtube or else instagram or else linkedin blah 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 whatever it is i need to publish it and to whom whom i need to publish it the access is for the mba students if i go and tell some other person i made a video on digital marketing have a glance at it no i need to understand who is my target audience in the previous so model we have discussed about target market and target audience so that would be very clear i feel now okay content marketing is a form of marketing focused on creating publishing and distributing content for the target audience online so you are going to make a video or as a content wherein you are focusing or as you are targeting the audience for me my target audience is jain college mba students are my target audience okay not other college students i am not worried about it for me my target audience is jain college students fourth semester students are my target audience so that they view the videos whenever they miss the class so they can view the video of the classes so this is something we called as content marketing it is often used by business in order to attract attention and generate leads of course yes. uh, many times so what is your seo big picture comes in youtube you can see what is seo they write what is digital marketing so where they attract the attention and to generate the leads they get more and more people on their page one second is uh, expand their customer base they go on expanding many people uh, they tell it to their friends and they like it they share it they subscribe it okay many times in the citation the google scholar they go for the citation okay so this is something really really nice hits for the person who has written the papers then generate or increase online sales okay uh, because of this uh, uh, people are getting benefited if they are using their uh, blogs or something they are getting benefited by the companies so that is one touch part increase brand awareness and credibility okay if if your company website is really good okay if it is doing really really brand awareness for people okay and increase the credibility as well for the company then engage an online community for users well, that's the clear you can create an online community for the users okay just to jump in students to this which you there has published a youtube videos post sponsored around the extreme sports and activities like mountain bike mountain biking so you might have seen uh, red bull advertisements on youtube rather than the televisions am i correct i have seen the youtube advertisement on uh, sorry uh, red bull advertisement on the television very less okay but you see more or most of the advertisement on youtube channel of the red bull all right yes so that sir. is where they have captured the market yeah so this is how they have captured the market students that's a nice content what they have done in the market now key terms and concepts uh, buyer persona buyer persona means the character what it is uh, talking about buyer persona is a specific segment that your target audience that you wish to target your content marketing towards brand separate large audience into many different buyer persona for their best possible results okay now when i say this buyer persona specific segment of people we are targeting now if i am a biker okay then red bull advertisement would really really suit me okay so closely observe the students your search other day sopnil was there he was telling that he has checked for the sofa Uh, we we told him about the sds model okay 
he has to stop on amazon so is getting this because the digital market segmented the market for sapnil sapnil is actually looking for sofas so that is where the link was tagging everywhere wherever you are sitting so the buyer persona now sapnil character was he was looking for the sofa sets so that is where the segmentation was done for sapnil okay the demographic segmentation was done for sapnil okay because he was a target audience for the digital market in the digital platform for all the sofa selling companies so he was targeted over there okay if vishal is checking for the airpods or cell phones then he is the target audience he is persona means when i say persona vishal character is very different from sapnil's character sapnil said the other day i check many things on online so every time whenever he is checking his latest search will be that okay yesterday we uh, you and me we all searched cell phone under 10000 when i logged into amazon i was getting the advertisement of cell phones under 10000 immediately i got this the reason is quite simple because my latest the recent search was about the cell phone yesterday i ordered a book product launch 360 degree today when in the morning i logged into amazon related books of branding was available for me on my page so this is something a character what the digital marketer picks one second comes bounce rate every time a person lands on the website and leaves without visiting other page on your site this is known as bounce okay again i repeat every time when a person lands on your website and leaves without visiting and leaves that's a key point and leaves without visiting another page on your site this is known as bounce therefore the bounce rate measures the average percentage of a user who land on your website and leave without taking further action such a clicking in the internal page okay when i when we say this okay if somebody visits your page okay and leaves without means he just came to your page say for example you enter jgi page a website and you didn't go to administrative you didn't go to faculty you didn't check out mba or any courses nothing you just logged in you went to the other page that so that is somewhere we call it as bounce rate means the customer logged into your page and just bounced back okay he was not worried about it how many times you might have done it uh, any any time have you done this you might have gone to google scholar you didn't understand anything you just logged out did that happen with you any time anyone any website you visited you didn't find any fun into it you just bounced out that's what we call it as bounce rate means you just get into it many times we check about the videos uh, as soon as we log in uh, to youtube and we check about the videos you are trying to check uh, immediately the advertisement comes you just log out and you go to the other page so that is what we call it as bounce rate one then click through rate ctr okay separate questions what is ctr again in the end of this we will be studying it in detail but now let's understand this click through rate measures the percentage of the users who click through the next page click through rates are the form of measurement in all types of content marketing including social media email marketing blogging and content creation content distribution pay per click advertisement click through rate how many people visited your page okay what is the percentage of the user clicked to the next page okay you made a certain video you made a certain blog you made a the online market how many people came to your page stayed in your page for a certain time okay that is the okay, how many got page that really matters take an example you didn't end up in the first page itself there is something called a show more okay that's what we are talking about click through rate how many people actually read your entire article really really matters that's what we call it as click through rate ctr okay then the next part conversion rate the conversion rate of it of the marketing strategy measures the percentage of people who are to become a lead in order to this metrics to work to your benefit you need to define what classifies you as a lead in the form of submission a phone call a ebook a white paper download once you find a user need to become a lead you can compare it to the number of visitors to determine your conversion okay now when we talk Please understand. Okay, your website as a content marketing strategy is the percentage of people who be paid. So, recently, I was here left in my leg, so in the right knee. I am I am getting in touch with many many doctors in the YouTube channel. The other day, Manu Bora is one, and Navin Sharma 
maybe they logged in, they checked your website, then they just logged out. Maybe say hardly 30 seconds or a minute. But how many of them actually sticked on your page really, really matters. Time on the page measures how long an average user remain on the specific page throughout your website. Few people take hours together, they sit on the same page, they understand the concept and then they log out or as then they go back. But few people just say, for example, someone is looking, what is SEO? Varun said, what is SEO? But let me check on online, what is SEO? They logged in to Google, they typed what is SEO, the first page came SEO. Then they took the definition, they copied, then they again went back. But if your page happens to be really interesting, you have given some examples, you have put some pictures, you have explained it in a very simple way, then people might get attracted and they might stay on, stay on your page for the longer run. That's what we call it as time on the page or the site. How much time you spend on your site? Or how much time a customer spends on the site or the website? So that really, really matters. If your page is really attractive, the customer will stay for the longer run. If your page is not that attractive, there is no stuff into it, the content or data, then the customer will just move out of your page. Okay. Then website traffic sources. Content marketing involves attracting users to your audience from the multitude of areas across the internet. When you're looking at when looking at your content, marketing analytics, the source tells where users came from. Okay, website traffic source. Source is from where the people are coming, from where the source is coming. Common source includes social media platforms, paid ads, and email marketing. Website traffic sources. When we say is content marketing attracting users for your website. If you're, if I'm a faculty, I'm talking about marketing, my source would be all the students is my source. They are going to come and check this video. Okay, rest, if I tell my family members, log into YouTube and check it, or if I tell others, I, I've made some notes in this, put it in Google, you go and check it. No, you at least bother about it. While checking your project, okay, you might have checked some other projects as well, your branding projects, which is available in Google. Some might have taken the questions from the Google. So that was the source, website traffic source, what we talk about, okay? Now, please go through these points. Was that clear, students? Uh, key terms and concepts of uh, content marketing. Uh, one, we discussed about buyer persona, then bounce rate, CTR we talked about, then conversion rate, CPC, okay? Then we still spoke about CPL, cost per lead, then open rate, time on the page, website traffic source. Any questions in this, please let me know. Shall we move to the next part? Strategic building power blocks. Or should I stop here? Do it in the next class? Yes, sir. We'll continue. So next class. Next class. Okay, okay, fine, fine. Take it. Not an issue. We'll just go through this point, students. Whatever we discussed today. Okay, and we'll start in the next class. Okay, strategic building blocks. We'll do it in the next class. Same creative business case, quite a simple one. Define your persona, okay, develop your brand story, create your channel plan. Okay, fine. Fine, we'll do it in the next class. Not a follow. Okay. I'll just stop the recording.